Uh, do we want questions now or later? You can take a few. Sure. And it, it, Wow, <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a terrific question. <laughs> I mean, we have enough problems, you know, where it's not scalable in, in Manitoba, where you have one group, you know, which, where the data are not as good as another group, even though they're both in the same ministry. I guess one should, should start with what works. We found, you know, in this history, to try to be credible with what you have and to you know, the smiling persistence, but, and put some, some data sets on the back burner. It's been pretty opportunistic. I mean, we know justice is incredibly important, but it, it just wasn't possible to get justice data. So I think you have to look at the targets of opportunity within Wales or with something else. Do they want to work with you? What do you think their data is like? Uh, do you have, do you know people who want to work with them? I guess those are three of the important, of the important questions. Other comments or questions? Yes, David. Well, as, uh, as you know, we're a great fan of the work that you've been doing in Manitoba uh, for many years. And uh, actually, a good proportion of those 45,000 hits you have on your website are writing, stealing, and writing. Um, well, it, we did get uh, foundation funding, which helped a lot. Um, at the moment, I can tell you what you were doing. At the moment, we're working on a half time, uh, you know, half an FTE to coordinate it with the help of some summer students and interns. The critical thing, and it's, it's hard in, in a university environment. I say we went directly to Santa Claus, and Santa Claus knows who's nasty and who's nice, and if you haven't done your documentation, you're in the nasty category, and ashes in your stocking. But it's, uh, one of the things that helps is a, uh, the technical people cooperating with each other and having their own, uh, you know, meetings and so forth. Somebody said, that's really important. We should write it down. And so there, there is an atmosphere there. Since we may be with, with the funding, we may be, we're at two FTE for three or four years. And then before that, we were at uh, half an FTE. So we've been able to do that, but it really depends on the group spirit. We have had at least one, a couple of investigators who, you know, it doesn't help their career and the dean doesn't care, so why should I add another 10 or 15 percent being nice? Uh, you, you know, it, it's an incentive kind of issue. The easiest way is to, I mean, they're not actively hostile, it's just the demands on their time, is save everything and beget it in the concept. If it's an appendix, like I, I mean, I'm pretty good at this because I'm committed. If they cut it out of my paper and I think it's important, I send it over and say, please put this in the concept dictionary. But I think a lot of it is people use it and see that it's important. And stuff that your local institution, you know, what are you doing in Wales that is really important and you've, you've screwed it up three times already because the people don't communicate with each other. Then that's the, that's the way, a way you can tell people, we gotta write it down and you gotta look it up because it's gonna save everybody a lot of time and effort. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll come back to oh, that. Yeah, we, yeah, we, oh, yes, somebody is pointing. Go, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, Julia Paniari from the University of Edinburgh. Uh, that's an amazing, fantastic research resource you've developed over the years. I can imagine all sorts of wonderful social and, and policy and health research. Uh, and I think many of us have look, looked to it as a, as a strong model. However, as I understand it, you haven't uh, uh, been as concerned with issues around public engagement and given the negative press around uh, data sharing data, uh, 
Uh, well, I, I don't know if Nora Lou wants to deal with it. The, it. We do deal with it constantly. First of all, we have to be responsible to our the provincial privacy coordinator. And everything that uh, Norlu and Pat have been very good about meeting with them, giving them first drafts of something. We want, we're going to put in this policy. What do you think? So we don't get blindsided by legislation which says we can't do certain things. It is a, it is a problem that's ongoing. I mean, I don't know if there's the term in the UK, but lawyering up is, is a term where particular institutions will lawyer up and say you can't have access to these data. Uh, so this is, you know, something that we're very dependent on the provincial government, you know, and Manitoba Health in the top levels saying yes, cooperate, and here is what they're doing to keep the data secure. And we have a secure environment, you know, you can't just walk in, you know, you need cards and you need to log. And we did have, I don't know where it came, we paid a company to try to break into our system. Uh, there, you know, people make their, their livings doing this way and without telling anyone. And our security uh, was one of our, the center's finest hours. The security people found them and turned off they got their data uh, provider to turn off their access to uh, the internet. So this company came in on Monday morning, and not only did you break into the center, but we turned you off. And uh, you know, they said, "No, no, we're we're employed by the government. We're good people." Uh, but you know, I think it's something you have to do. The it's not, we do not routinely, on the other thing, we cannot routinely spin off publicly available data sets to people. And there is some interaction with journals. Some journals are putting more and more pressure to make it you know, publicly available. And we have to refer those issues to the government. We, we have to abide by certain policies. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Les. Okay, thank you. Okay.